Hi, I'm Elijah, and welcome back to another Kenko webcast, your number one source for information on labeling and pricing products. Today, I'll be showing you how to properly load and maintain your new Motex MX5500 handheld price gun. If you find this video to be helpful, please click the like button below. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with several key components of the gun. Pick up the gun with your left hand and take a look at the top. Right away, you'll notice the print head and the adjustment dial. Below, you will see the upper housing assembly. Pull on the horseshoe depression at the top of the upper housing assembly to open it. Here, we will see the label housing assembly. This is where the labels will rest when the gun is properly loaded. Let's take a look at the front of the gun. Here, you will see the ink roller assembly door resting below the print head. I'll be talking more about the ink roller assembly later on. Flip the gun to take a look at the bottom cover. On the top, you'll see the nip roller. The nip roller will help apply the label to your product. Next, we'll take a look at the inside of the bottom cover. To open the bottom cover, use your thumb and index finger to grip the cover latches and pull them towards the handle of the gun. Below the nip roller, you will see the pressure plate. The pressure plate will help maintain consistent tension when the label gun is in use, giving it a smooth operation. Below the pressure plate, you will see the advancing mechanism. Notice the sprockets on the wheel? The sprockets line up with the holes on the labels so the advancing mechanism can feed one label every time you squeeze the trigger. Now that we are more familiar with the various components, let's learn how to quickly and properly load the new Motex MX5500. First, open up the bottom cover by pulling the cover latches towards the trigger. Next, we'll open the upper housing assembly. Grab a roll of labels and place it on the shaft of the housing assembly in a counterclockwise direction. These blank labels, in assorted colors, can be custom printed with your information and are available through Kenco. To make the next step easier, let's bend that first label about 30 degrees away from the label lining. Now we can begin feeding the labels into the gun between the pressure plate and the advancing mechanism. You'll want to be careful not to feed the labels around the nip roller because that would cause the labels to jam. Pull about 4 to 5 inches through for the next step and we'll close the upper housing assembly. Next, we need to fold the labels over the pressure plate and the advancing mechanism. When you rest the labels on the advancing mechanism, line up two of the holes on the labels with the sprockets, then close the bottom cover. Now that the gun is properly loaded, we will learn how to adjust the price. Here I'm going to show you how to adjust the dial on the printhead. With the top part of the gun facing you, we'll use our left hand to hold the gun and our right hand to grab the adjustment dial. We can change the bands to our desired price by turning the adjustment dial. To move to the next set of digits, simply pull the adjustment dial and the adjustment indicator will follow you to the digit you are currently adjusting. When adjusting the bands on the printhead, be careful not to set the digit to the black side as doing so will cause the ink roller to cover up the readable characters. When you have finished adjusting your label gun, be sure to push the adjustment dial back into the printhead and you're all set. Now that we know how to properly load and adjust the Motex MX5500 label gun, let's learn how to change the ink roller. On the front of the gun, you will see the ink roller assembly door. The first thing we need to do is lift up on the latch and expose the ink roller assembly. You will see a black plastic grip protruding from the ink roller assembly. Grab it and lift up to remove the ink roller assembly. It should come out freely without any resistance. To remove the old ink roller, gently pull apart the ink roller arm. The ink roller should pop right off. Once the ink roller is removed, we will get our replacement ink roller from the packaging, slide it between the ink roller arms, and snap it into place. Additional ink rollers can be purchased from KenkoStore.com. Now we just need to slide the ink roller assembly back into the gun and we can close the cover. Next, I'm going to show you how to adjust the print location. For this part of the tutorial, we are going to need a Phillips screwdriver, size PH1. First, we will need to loosen up the two printhead adjustment screws located on both sides of the printhead. You only need half a turn in the counterclockwise direction to loosen up each screw. Once the screws are loose, we can slide the printhead in the direction we need, either up or down, to adjust the vertical printing position. After the printhead has been adjusted, we can test it to make sure it's lined up properly. 
Now that it's printed perfectly, we can tighten the adjustment screws back up and we're ready to begin labeling. To label an item, simply pick up the gun, squeeze and release the trigger once, hold the price gun directly over the product, then just roll the label on your product and you're all done. This has been another Kenco webcast. For more information and outstanding prices on these products, visit us on the web today at www.kencostore.com or call us toll free at 1-800-86-KENCO. For more product videos and tutorials like this, go to www.kenco.tv.